Hi guys, I'm showing you today a very nice IC box external USB enclosure with space for five 3.5 inch hard drives. It's USB 3.1 and it's advertised at 10 gigabits per second. In the box there is power cable, USB-C to USB-C cable, USB-C to USB-A cable and a couple of keys. They are used to close the H-disk trays. On the back we have two USB-C ports, main and hub. You connect the computer on main port. Hub port you can use to connect another device, the external hard drive for example. Power switch and power plug. So again, the computer goes on main port. Hard disk doors are nice built, they feel strong and durable. Disk slides easy inside. You can start it up with the power button next to it. Same thing for the other trays. What I love about this enclosure is, as you can see, each disk can be powered on and off independently. You remove one disk and the others are untouched. And since I mentioned removing, make sure the disk you want to remove is powered off before opening the door. We will do speed test in a bit, but before going there, I would like to show you what was wrong with the first one I got, which I ended up returning it. First sign was the box was a bit crushed, and uh, while moving the device, I've heard some noise inside. It was a, a detached screw. For sure it was dropped, and probably that is why what follows. We insert the disk in tray 2. As you can see, it has some content there, visible, accessible, no problems. Moving it to tray 1, the story is different. The device is visible but unmountable. Actually, any disk in tray 1 had the same behavior. Format was also out of the question. I contacted first right Sonic support, they responded quickly and confirmed it's defective and that I should return it to those who sold it to me. And this is what I did. Second device was okay. And as promised, is now time for speed test. I'm using 4TB Seagate Iron Wolf discs and uh, as speed tool I use GDD command, GNU DD, because the default DD command in macOS does not have progress output and this is what we need for the test. Okay, so let's start the first one. Nice, it goes around the speed rated for these disks. And let's start one by one the others. Interesting. Speed for each disk remain around the same speed, 180, 190 megs per second, megabytes per second. On the bottom right side, you can see the total speed. So it increases as we start the other um, GDD commands. I'm creating with this command uh, just a TMP file on each disk. It goes around 1, 1.1 gigabytes per second. So you have seen good and bad things related to this device. I hope you will not get into the same problems as I did. I am very happy with this one. It's already in the server rack attached to a Mac Mini. And since I mentioned server rack, subscribe, because I will show you how to mount one and, of course, many interesting things I encounter in my IT journey. Stay safe and see you in the next one.